If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. The Nick is an American medical period drama television series on Cinemax created by Jack Amell and Michael Begler and directed by Steven Soderbergh. The series follows Dr. John W. Thackeray, played by Clive Owen, and the staff at the fictionalized version of the Knickerbocker Hospital, otherwise known as the Nick in New York, during the early 20th century. Emil and Bergler wrote the majority of the episodes and are executive producers. The show premiered on Cinemax on August 8, 2014. On July 10, 2014, Cinemax renewed The Nick for a 10-episode second season, which premiered on October 16, 2015. In March 2017, Cinemax announced the series was cancelled. In September of 2020, Soderbergh confirmed that a new season of The Nick is in development, led by Barry Jenkins and Andre Hollard, who'd return as his character, Dr. Algernon C. Edwards, and that the original creators, Jack Emile and Michael Bergler, have written a pilot episode. Set in New York in 1900, the Knickerbocker Hospital operates with innovative surgeons, nurses and staff who struggle against the limitations of medical understanding and practice. To minimize morbidity and the mortality, Dr. John Thackeray, partly based on the historical figure William Stuart Halstead, the new leader of the surgery staff, balances his cocaine and opium addictions against his ambition for medical discovery and his reputation among his peers. Dr. Algernon Edwards, a Harvard-educated black American surgeon, probably based on the historical Daniel Hale Williams and Louis T. Wright, who trained in Paris, is much more qualified than any other candidate, but must fight for respect amongst the all-white hospital staff, as well as the racially charged city. While struggling to keep the lights on, the hospital attempts to attract wealthy clientele without sacrificing quality of care. Production for season one began in September of 2013 in New York City. Dr. Stanley Burns, founder and CEO of the Burns Archive, served as an on-set medical advisor on the series and worked closely with production and actors to make the hospital scenes realistic and authentic to the period. Images from Burns Archive become important references for everything from the antiseptic atonomizers in the operating theatre to an early x-ray machine to the prosthetic worn by a recurring character. In a December 2015 interview with director Steven Soderbergh, he confirmed that Dr. Thackeray dies at the end of season two and that it was all planned from the beginning, and Clive Owen had only had a two-year contract for the series. Soderbergh also said, I told them, being Cinemax, that I'm going to do the first two years and then we're going to break out from the stories for season three and four and try to find a filmmaker or filmmakers to do it this way that I did. This is how we want to do this, so that every two years, whoever comes on has the freedom to create their own universe, as it were. However, Soderbergh decided, depending upon what those future seasons were, he would like to direct them. We've always envisioned the Nick in two-year increments, with the idea of annihilating what came before every two years. In a 2021 interview, Soderbergh outlined his original plan for a six-season series that would involve substantial leaps in time. Seasons 3 and 4 would be set in a post-World War II era, and seasons 5 and 6 in the immediate future. The entire cast and characters were to change. In March 2017, the series was officially cancelled by Cinemax. Kari Anthelos, Cinemax's programme director, stated that despite our pride and affection for the series, as well as our respect and gratitude towards Steven Soderbergh and his team, we've decided to return Cinemax to its original primetime series fare of high-octane action dramas, many of which will be internationally co-produced. As mentioned earlier, Dr. Thackeray is largely based in William Stuart Halstead, who was born in 1852 and died in 1922, an innovative turn-of-the-century physician who was also a cocaine and morphine addict. Dr. Eldon Edwards is partially based on Louis T. Wright, born in 1891 and died in 1952, a brilliant African-American surgeon who was active in the New York in the first half of the 20th century. Both Wright and the fictional Edwards studied at Harvard Medical School and graduated top of their class. Wright became Harlem Hospital's first African-American surgeon in 1921, two decades after the show takes place. Cocaine was made illegal in the United States in 1922, whilst heroin was made illegal in 1924. The Knickerbocker Hospital was a real location in Harlem, and it did serve poor, marginalized communities who could not afford medical care. It also had a policy to not treat African-American patients. The other inspiration for Algernon Edwards's character was the graduate from Harvard, Richard Theodore Greener, born in 1844, who died in 1922. He was also the first black graduate of Harvard in 1870. Photos of Greener bear some resemblance to Andre Hollard's makeup and hair design for his character. Now, one of the standout features of The Nick is his meticulous attention to historical detail. The show expertly captures the atmosphere of New York City in the early 20th century, from the costumes to set design. The use of also natural lighting and the filming, a trademark of Steven Soderbergh, gives the show a unique and visually striking look that enhances the historical immersion. 
The narrative is also compelling, tackling both medical and social issues of the time. The show explores groundbreaking medical procedures, addiction, racial and gender inequalities, and the evolving role of medicine in society. The storytelling is also very intense, and the plot doesn't shy away from betraying the darker aspects of the characters' lives. It successfully weaves personal and professional storylines, creating a complex and engaging narrative. Clive Owen is absolutely superb here as John Thackeray. His portrayal of the brilliant but deeply flawed surgeon struggling with addiction is both very convincing and captivating, and one of his best performances in years. I also particularly enjoyed the whole cast here, from Andre Hollard, Juliet Rylance, Eve Eusen, who all deliver very strong performances. Each character is very well developed and adds a lot of depth to the overall story. The show also delves into the medical innovations of the time, showcasing the challenges and risks of associated with 20th century medicine. The attention to historical accuracy in depicting medical procedures and equipment is very commendable in my mind. The Nick doesn't shy away from addressing social issues such as racism, sexism and class struggles. It provides a thought-provoking commentary on the societal norms of the era and how they intersect with the characters' lives. I also particularly loved Steven Soderbergh's direction. He of course is a world-renowned director and his use of innovative camera techniques and visual storytelling adds a distinct flair to the series. The long takes and unconventional angles contribute to the show's unique visual identity. The music here, composed by Cliff Martinez, complements the show's tone perfectly. The score adds to the overall atmosphere and enhances the emotional impact of very big key scenes. Unfortunately, this is one of these shows that probably ended a bit too soon. Look, I believe in the saying, leave the audience wanting more, but I definitely feel there was a lot more stories to come out from this wonderful series. This is a massively crafted series that stands out for its historical accuracy, compelling characters and intense storytelling. It successfully combined medical drama with social commentary, offering a unique and immersive viewing experience. As I said earlier, the show unfortunately was cut short after two seasons, and it's a testament to its niche appeal that lovers of historical dramas with a gritty edge definitely makes The Nick a must-watch. The Nick gets a 9 out of 10.